get yourself some whole kernel corn. 65 cents at the store. Get yourself like four or five, whatever, depending on how much you plan to fish. But this is what you want to do before you start fishing. So you can bring in the carp and the carp will stay in that area. I've literally caught like three or four carp in a row, same area. Even if the fish is fighting, splashing around, it doesn't scare the other carp, they'll stay there. So you can see this, this water goes in and then it goes into this little cove. Now from what I've seen, carp will stay along the edges. So if there's any structure like this where it goes in and out, I'm assuming the carp are gonna go in this little area right here. You wanna do, sometimes you can do this if like I have a spot behind my house that I can go and chum. It's basically chumming that area every day or every other day and the carp will always return to that area. Might not be there when you go fishing, but they'll always typically return to that area, especially if you keep feeding the poop. So you just wanna grab a handful where you plan to fish and just dump it in there. That's it. That's all you want to do. That's it. That's all you do. Then you can wait. I'll leave it there. I'll set up my, my rig and then I'll, I'll just leave it there and just wait patiently for the carp to appear. What I know, carp are just always constantly moving. So as soon as they find a spot like, yo, <laughs> there's a whole buffet over here. They'll stay right here and they'll call their homeboys or whatnot and boom, you are golden. Or you can go to the store and spend 20 bucks on a whole carp, whatever you choose. If you got the money, go ahead and do it. I did it one time, then I started doing this method. I'm golden now. Golden, golden like this corn. Golden, gold. I like to use my ultralight. You said not only is it really good bait, but it is a very, very fun fish to fight. And this is gonna be my setup. I have my main line right here. Hopefully you guys can see. I just put a little egg weight that can slide back and forth. And I have a swivel right here. I always do the fisherman's knot. And then all you just need is a small little piece of leader and a very small hook. That's it. Don't need nothing big. But let me show you guys something. I went to Academy and I found these little snell bait holder hooks. And they just basically already set for you. They come with 10, so that's plenty of them. It's a size four, and this literally just cost $1. It is super cheap, and you know, it's perfect, it's perfect. You don't believe me? Watch my video. The same thing I'm showing right here is how I'm gonna catch this carp, and I'm going to catch the carp. That's it, that's all I do. Same thing, same one, small little hook, that's it. When it just comes to putting your, your corn, you can put three or four of them on there. I just like putting it sideways all the way through. This one, through. No, all the way through. That's it guys. And you will catch carp. Now I know there are hundreds and thousands of different types of gear when it comes to carp. In Europe, it's a like prize trophy fish. Here, people don't really go fishing for it. But me, myself, and a bunch of other people who go alligator gar fishing, we're just using it for bait. So as soon as we land it, boom, go straight into the cooler or it gets chopped up and going for bait. So yeah, there's tons of different ways that you guys can catch carp, but that's all I do. That's it. So if I threw, if I chum the water right there, all I'm gonna do Right there. You set it on the rod holder. You drag, make sure you drag a little bit. A little loose, but kind of tight. The reason why is when the fish starts to take off, he's going to set the hook in himself, basically. And that's it. Now we just wait patiently. We're going to get him. I know we are. This place is loaded. People ask me, where do you get carp from? In my opinion, there's carp everywhere, all over the place. So, you can pretty much fish anywhere. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens.
beautiful. I already have a ton of bait at home. I just wanted to show you guys. But I got it. Put them back and see if we can get some more. Yeah. With an ultralight, guys. That is so much fun. You guys got to try it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, chum the water, put corn, works. Sometimes you have to wait a little longer, but it's guaranteed. V vlogs guaranteed. Try it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Nice. We need to get you on a big one but this one fought hard yeah you got respect you can see the beautiful color it's like a giant goldfish oh god <laughs> they don't have teeth that's the best know, thing you want weird. Oh my god. laura has been faced with tasks that she's never done before <laughs> she starts getting nervous she starts clapping her hands <laughs> if you're nervous and you know it, clap your hands <laughs> He's not gonna do anything to you. Oh my gosh, I know, but it's weird. You can do it. Come on. Oh, it's just so weird. Oh my god. At least grab him and throw him in the water. I can't. So Come on, his life is on the line, Laura. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom. Good job. Bam. Same spot, same thing. How was the fight? That was awesome. Awesome. That was fun. Heck yeah. We had a lot of fighting. Some of the best fighting fish. Yeah. Let's go for another one. Different paper one. I've never got one like this. What? Wow. All these twigs and branches and stuff like that. They just they try to just stay up on the top. I mean, they try to stay away from all that. But they do try mm. to stay up on top because. I know that there's a bunch of like twigs and stuff down there. Mm hmm. Branches, logs, and they don't really go in there. So when you hook one, it's pretty much good on, on trying to land it.
very first grass carp, yo. Wow. Same setup. Same setup I showed you guys. Small little hook. Just some pieces of corn. That is it. Look at that. Beautiful grass carp. Very first grass carp we've got. I think it's grass. I'm pretty sure it's grass carp. Very first one. Beautiful. <laughs> Put them back in the water. Tell you guys, same setup. It happens. It works. Same spot. Same little spot. I've been coming. I haven't had to move. Boom. This right here is like a good 15, 20 bucks. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the good fight. Got him? That is a nice one. Yeah. That's a bigger one. Yeah. Little albino guy. Catch and release all day. That's it. We got enough bait at home. Beautiful. Cheese. Thank you, buddy, for the good fight. Oh shit, that was it's like a belly flop. Good job, Laura. On again. Go put another one. Get yourself an ultralight rod and try to go fight yourself a carp. Probably the biggest carp I've landed. Oh yeah, that's big. You didn't bring a nut, did you? Oh jeez. Is your line gonna hold up? Oh that's
say this is the biggest one I've gotten so far. I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Ultralight guys, just get some corn. Throw some corn where you're gonna guys, you guys are gonna fish. And then, uh, yeah, th throw your line in there. But beautiful, hard fighting fish. Mm. Loosen the drag, loosen the drag, loosen the drag. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, he's a big one, baby. He's a big one, baby. I think he's done. I think he's done. There he is right there. Boom, nice one. I'm gonna have to go down there and grab him. I swear, it was like, I don't know, I went like three or four days in a row. We even traveled to go get carp and nothing. We just used worms. Switched to, to uh, corn, boom, all the time. They just hooked themselves on. That's what, seven carp total? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven carp. And I'm telling you guys, I was trying and trying and trying and I could not get anything. Now I just switched to corn and boom. It's like crack to them. You need to loosen the drag, loosen the drag. Oh, that one's gotta be a big one. Oh yeah. Speed up. Think he's ready? Alright, I'm gonna put the camera over here. They're beautiful. Oh, this one looks a little beat up, but beautiful common carp. We are slaying them. Oh, like out of nowhere. Yeah, what the heck? Corn is not only good for carp, but look at that catfish. Nice. Boom. Nice little blue catfish. You wanna take a picture? Yeah. Gotta go. I haven't had a catfish here for a while. Yeah. Very unexpected. <laughs> not only carp, but catfish too. Catfish mm -hmm. like corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that last blue catfish is it. It's a wrap. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Use that strategy. I got my boat right here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hopefully it helps you guys out you guys can use that strategy with just corn there are tons of different rigs you guys can do this one i found is the easiest one and hopefully you guys can try it out and it works for you guys we got how many like eight yeah we got yeah, i think total. eight carp and we got that one blue catfish which mm -hmm. was a surprise but yeah. yo that was, that was super successful if you kept all those carp and we didn't even keep them all then you have enough bait for a very very long time so mm -hmm. hopefully we could help you guys out with this overall that was tons of fun ultra light carp fishing with corn give it a try but till next time, it's your boy V. It's Laura.